Okay, so yung next na pag-aaralan natin ay uh, geometric uh, optics. Okay, so dito maintindihan niyo kung bakit o kung paano nag-form yung images uh, as a result of, uh, for example, mirrors or uh, surfaces na nagre-reflect or nagre-refract. Okay, so magsisimula muna tayo sa ano sa surfaces na nagre-reflect and then magpumunta tayo sa surfaces na nagre-refract. And... Uh, tawag dito, Mapap madali lang siya. Okay. Pwede, pwede bang pang-motivate yun? Uh, madali lang siyang gawin as long as you follow yung rules okay, nung pag-solve nung, uh, nung, ano, nung uh, problem. Okay? So, di-discuss ko yung mga rules na yun mamaya. Okay. Uh, pero, una muna, okay, uh, uh, ang sinasabi nung, nung figure na ito is that, tulad nung diniscuss natin last time, any uh, point okay, uh, emits light. It doesn't matter kung siya yung source or nagre-reflect lang yung light uh, off of it. Okay, basta nakikita niya yan, yung object na yan ay nag-i-emit na ng light. Okay? At dahil nag i siya ng light, yung light na yan will travel in all directions. Now, if we consider a mirror tulad dito, okay, ito yung object okay, uh, na, na source ng light, yung light will travel in all, direc all directions. Ganito yung paraan ng pag-reflect ng light rays with respect to the mirror. It follows yung uh, angle of uh, reflection. Okay, so kung titignan nyo, at each line dito, at each ray, ito yung normal line, yung angle na ito, at saka yung angle na ito ay pareho lang, according to the law of reflection. Kung pipili tayo ng isa pang ray, halimbawa itong ray na ito, Maglagay tayo ng normal line dyan, yung angle na ito at yung angle na yon ay equal lang according din sa law of reflection. Aksunod? Aksunod? Okay. Ngayon, ang ano lang dito, ang kung paano, kung paano natin nakikita yung light uh, ay base dun sa, parang in English ko lang, sasabihin ko sana is perception. Everything is perceived. Okay, according to how light is received by our eyes. Okay, so halimbawa, ito yung object at nakatingin kayo sa mirror, yung light na nareflect of the mirror ay makikita, nung, ay makikita ninyo. Pero makikita niyo siya na in such a way na nadudun siya sa likod ng mirror. Okay, so it seems as if that object is, on, uh, is at the back side of the mirror. Okay, yun yung, yun, yung, yun yung ibig sabihin dito. Okay, kaya nga may jagged, uh, ano dito? Anong lines, anong tawag dito? Dash lines. Okay, kasi ang sinasabi dito, ang sinasabi ng dash lines na ito ay, hindi talaga, wala talagang light rays na nagpa-pass through dyan. Okay, lahat ng light rays ay nare-reflect off the mirror, pero it would seem na merong light rays na nagpa-pass, na meron, it would seem na merong light rays dito at galing lahat yun dito sa point na ito, which is actually a reflection of this, of this point. Okay, so that's how we perceive objects okay, sa mirror. Ganun din sa mga refracting uh, surfaces. Okay, so uh, ngayon, pag ano naman, pag refracting surface, so dito sa example na ito, meron kang isang medium, okay, na mas malaki yung index of refraction kumpara dito sa medium na ito, Alam natin na pag lumabas yung light ray dyan, mas malaki yung or mag-move away yung light ray from the normal line. Dahil yung medium na ito, mas malaki kesa. Index of refraction ng medium na ito ay mas malaki kesa. Index of refraction dito sa medium na ito. Okay? That way, ang perception natin is that, uh, ano tawag dito? Hindi kasi natin nakikita itong pag-bend. Ang nakikita lang natin is itong light ray na ito. So, ang perception natin is that yung object ay nandito dito. Wala doon. The same way dun sa, sa coin na diniscuss natin a few uh, meetings ago. Right? right? So, it's actually all about uh, perception. Okay, yung, yung optics. And how we perceive that can be explained mathematically and uh, actually geometrically. Okay, more specifically, geometrically. Kaya nga siya tinawag na uh, geometric uh, optics. Okay, so there are two ways to approach this uh, tawag dito, uh, this uh, uh, um, concept. 
Uh, one is, of course, uh, through um, um, by using a mathematical equation. Okay. Hindi na natin de-derive yung mathematical equation na yan. Bibigay ko na lang ng diretso sa inyo. Okay. Uh, at pangalawa is by graphing. Okay. So, you, dapat, siyempre, mag-match yung solution nyo dun sa pag-graph at saka dun sa pag-solve sa pag nyo uh, mathematically. Okay. So, ito yung mga rules. Nababasa nyo ba? Okay. Ito lang naman. Itong, itong tatlo. So, so, ang tawag dito sa source ng light ay object. Ang tawag dito sa point na ito, kung nasan sa tingin nyo, yung object ay image. Nakasunod? Okay? So, ito yung object at ito yung image. Okay? So, pag nakatingin kayo sa salamin, uh, ang tawag dito, kayo yung object at yung reflection ninyo ay yung image. At ang tingin ninyo ay nandun dun yung image nyo sa likod ng salamin. Tama? Tama? Okay? Okay. So, kung philosophy kayo, kung philosophy majors kayo, anong pwede nyo sabihin? Sino ba talagang object at sino ang image? Pero dahil scientist tayo, meron tayong uh, exact na definition dyan. Ang object ay yung source ng light. Okay? Ang object ay yung source ng light. At yung image okay, ay yung uh, tawag dito, result okay, after using yung mathematics or yung geometry uh, optics natin. Okay, so, ang, anong sign rules dito? Sign rule for the object distance. Ang object distance is yung distance from uh, from from the mirror or later on, tatawagin natin itong vertex, okay, yung point kung saan tatama yung ray. Yung distance from the vertex hanggang dito sa point na to, yan yung object distance. And yung distance from this point to this point, yan yung image distance. Naintindihan nyo? Ang sunod, definition of terms lang yan, ano? And later, meron din tayong tatawagin na radius of curvature for spherical surface. Obviously, this is not a spherical surface. Pero pwede nyo rin i-argue yun mathematically, right? It is a spherical surface with a radius of with a radius of curvature na infinite. Tama? Tama, hindi nyo nakikita yung, yung curve. Sobrang laki ng curve okay, na ang perception natin ay flat. Parang, parang dito lang sa Earth. Hindi natin nakikita na, na sphere ang Earth kasi yung uh, tingin natin sa radius niya ay infinite. Okay? So yun yung idea. Pero later, mag, may makakita tayo ng problems na kung saan curved yung surfaces. So pwedeng concave or pwedeng convex. Okay? So, anong sign rule for object distance? When the object is on the same side of the reflecting or refracting surface as the incoming light, the object distance S is positive. Otherwise, it is negative. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Ito yung object. Okay? Nasaan yung light ray? Ito yung light ray. Nasa same side ba siya ng mirror? Nasa same side? Yes. Which means na itong distance na ito is positive. Nakasunod? Nakasunod? Okay. Otherwise, it is negative. Okay. Sign rule for the image distance. When the image is on the same side of the reflecting or refracting surface as the outgoing light, the image distance S prime is positive. Otherwise, it is negative. So, dito, andito yung uh, image. Pero yung light ray that corresponds to the image ay nandun sa kabilang side. So, ano ang sign ng S prime na yun? Negative. Nakasunod? Nakasunod? Magkaibang sides yung image at saka yung ray that corresponds to the image. Okay? Then, sign rule for the radius of curvature of a spherical surface. When the center of curvature C is on the same side as the outgoing light, the radius of curvature is positive, otherwise it is uh, negative. Okay, ngayon, hindi pa natin ma-apply itong rule na ito kasi ang radius dito is infinite. Okay? 
hindi natin alam kung nasan yung uh, center ng circle. Di ba? Pwedeng nandito yung center ng circle, pwedeng nandun sa kabilang side. Hindi natin alam kasi it's impossible to determine dahil yung radius of curvature ay infinite. Okay, pero yun lang ang tatandaan ninyo. If yung light that corresponds to the object or the image is on the, is a, is on the same side, ibig sabihin the sign of the uh, object distance or image distance or the radius of curvature is positive. Otherwise, it is negative. Okay, mas magiging klaro yan as, as, uh, as we solve uh, problems. Okay, so dito, makikita ninyo yung sinasabi natin, yung incoming light ay ito, same side siya as the object distance. Yung outgoing light ay ito, opposite side siya as the image. So yung object distance ay positive, S greater than 0, at yung image distance ay negative, S prime less than 0. The same way, dito sa refracted, ay sorry, dito sa refracted, okay, ito yung incoming light, same side as the object, so yung object distance ay positive, at dito naman, yung outgoing light ay nandito, pero yung image ay nandodon, which means na yung S prime ay negative. Okay? Okay? Okay, so yun na yung mga rules na kailangan uh, sundin. Okay, so ano yung equation na gagamitin? Yung equation ay ito. Okay, 1 over S plus 1 over S prime is equal to 2 over R. Okay, 1 over S plus 1 over S prime is equal to 2 over R. Sige, sulat nyo muna sa notes niya. Okay? Ngayon, it doesn't matter if the object is a point object or an extended object. Ano yung ibig sabihin pag extended object? Kung titignan nyo rito sa, sa baba, yung object, hindi na siya single point. Series of points siya. Pwede nyo i-represent tong arrow na to as maraming points. Di ba? That extend from here to there. So kaya siya tinawag na extended na object. Okay? Tayo, lahat tayo ay extended object. Next time na tumingin kayo sa salamin, ang tingin nyo na sa sarili nyo ay extended object. Okay? Unless nabilog na bilog ang katawan nyo, tulad ko, so point object na ang tingin nyo doon. Okay? For extended objects, ibig sabihin meron siyang height, di ba? Or meron siyang length. Okay? Yung object height is y at yung image height is y prime okay at yung ratio nila ratio ng image height dun sa object height ay tinatawag natin na lateral magnification okay lateral magnification okay so ito ang equation for the lateral magnification hindi kasama to ah hindi kasama to Huwag nyo, huwag nyo isama yan kasi this is for a specific surface. So, M is equal to Y prime over Y. Yan lang yung isulat nyo sa notes ninyo. M is equal to Y prime over, over Y. Okay, limbawa, pag tumingin kayo sa mirror, ano ang height ninyo? Or ano ang height ninyo as an object relative dun sa height ng image ninyo? Mas maliit, mas malaki, or pareho lang. Halimbawa, magandang mirror siya talaga at flat na mirror. Magbabago ba yung height nyo o hindi? So, ano ang lateral magnification? One. Okay, unity. Unity yung lateral na magnification. Pag zero ang lateral magnification nyo, anong klaseng salamin yun? Wala kayong nakikita. <laughs> ba? Kasi zero yung Y prime. Eh. Diba? In other words, walang... Baka hindi salamin yun. Okay, baka hindi siya salamin. Kawawa naman kayo, pag tingin nyo sa salamin, tuntok lang kayo. ba? Okay, anyway. Yung equation na nakikita nyo dito, yung meron negative S prime over S, corresponds to a flat surface. Flat mirror. Okay, flat mirror lang yan. Okay, bakit? 
Ah, hindi pala flat mirror lang. Pati uh, any type of mirror. Any type of mirror. Okay? So, bakit? Okay? Ah, mas madaling explain pagdating dito sa, ano, sa, sa graph, sa geometry. So, dito na lang natin explain sa geometry. Okay? Pero, babalikan natin yan mamaya. Okay, ngayon. This is the mathematic, these are the mathematical equations. Yan lang ang kailangan nyo. Plus yung rules. Okay? Tandaan nyo na mayroong rules Merong sign rules for S, S prime at saka R. Okay, maraming nagkakamali sa sign rules. Ang dali-dali gamitin ng equation, straightforward, okay? Pero sa sign rules, doon usually nagkaka-problema. Okay? Ngayon, yung radius of curvature, okay, yung papansin nyo na ito ay 2 over R, okay, kasi this, this equation was actually derived in terms of the focal uh, length instead of the radius of curvature. So, ang focal length is actually, or focal length F is actually uh, related dun sa radius of curvature okay, by F is equal to R over 2. So, the focal length is just one half of the radius of curvature. So, anong, anong, anong sinasabi nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun is that, ay dito na lang may drawing nga pala. It's Okay, ang ibig sabihin nun is that, so asa na yung ano dito? Ito yung center nung circle. Ibig sabihin from here to the vertex, yan yung radius. Ngayon, one half nun, yan doon yung focal point. Ang kalahati ng radius ay focal length. Okay? Ngayon, kaya siya tinawag na focal point kasi lahat ng rays ay dyan dadaan sa focus. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na focal, focal point. Okay? Ngayon, ano-ano ang mga rays na dadaan dyan sa focal point? A ray parallel to the x to the axis after reflection passes through the focal point F of a concave mirror or appears to come from the virtual focal point of a convex mirror. Hanggang saan nyo lang may tingin lang dyan? A ray parallel to the axis. is okay na, no? After reflections. A ray parallel to the axis. So, ano yun? Ito yung axis ninyo. Tama? Okay. Umadaan yung axis. Ito yung concave mirror. A convex mirror. Ito yung concave. Okay, mali ito ha. Concave. Convex. Okay? Pwede nyo gamitin yun na ano? Na pagpapaan. Pagpapaan. Concave. Okay. 
not, it's not, yun yung ibig sabihin nito, phrase nito. And then number two, array through or proceeding toward the focal point F, okay, is reflected parallel to the axis. So baliktad naman. Pag may ray na dumaan sa focal point, okay, pag may reflect siya, ano mangyayari sa kanya? Yung ray na yan may magiging parallel dun sa axis, or, ano? Sabi dito, or proceeding toward. If a ray is proceeding toward focal, uh, the focal point F, it is reflected parallel to the axis. So, tignan natin dito sa concave, okay? Ito yung, asa na ba yung number 2? Yung dilaw. So, yung number 2, yung dilaw, dumagahan sa focal point. Pagdating niya sa mirror, wala reflect siya as a line, as a light ray, which is parallel to the axis. Okay? Dito yung number 2, yung yellow pa rin, it appears to proceed dun sa focal point. Okay? Okay? Pero pagdating dito, magdadrawin na kayo ng light ray which is parallel to the axis. Ngayon diretsyo pa rin. Sarap? Sarap? Okay. Notice na yung source na source ng lahat ng light ray na yun ay dun lang sa arrowhead. Okay, nandun dun lang sa arrowhead. So isang, isang source na yun. Ibig sabihin, somewhere, mag-intersect yung mga linyas na yun. Yes. Lines na yun. <laughs> Yung mga lines na yun ay mag-i-percent somewhere. Nintin niya yung sasabi ko? Kasi isa lang yung galingan nila. Kasi syempre, isa lang din yung pupuntahan nila. Kahit na iba iba sila ng direction. Hindi nyo kita dito, pero kita nyo dito. Nasa blackboard. Tama? Tama? Lahat ay galing dito sa arrow. Okay, yun yung number two. Number three. Array along the radius through or away from the center of curvature intersects the surface normally and is reflected back along its original path. Okay? So, ano yung ray na yun? Yung number 3. Pag dumaan yung ray sa center, okay, pag dumaan yung ray sa center, pag natin sa mirror, babalik lang siya. Parang OFW. Tama? 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 Natatandaan yung mga yan, the rest of my jokes ko eh, diba? Diba? Yung orange na line, it appears to proceed towards the center. Okay? Pero pagdating niya dito, babalik na dito siya. Okay? Okay? Okay, number four. A ray to the vertex B is reflected forming equal angles with the uh, optic axis. Okay, so yung number 4 na yun, yung number 4 ay itong, ano mga kulay yan? Pink o fuchsia? Pink na lang ano, kasi it's very stale. Yung pangaluma na ng joke ko. Hindi ka pala natakoy, alam nyo yun. Pero ang kalawin, hindi pa rin na nag-spend yung fuchsia. Pagdaan nung pink light, dun sa vertex, ano mangyari? Mare-reflect siya. It follows yung angle of, ah, it follows yung law of reflection. Okay? Okay, ganun din dito. Daan nung light ray dito, paglabas niya doon, okay, uh, yung paglabas niya ay in the same angle as the incident. So, yung incident, ito yung reflect. According to that, ang law of reflection. Pag tumama yun sa, pag tumama sa vertex yun, light rays. Mas na? Mas na? It turns out na mag-intersect na yung mga lines na yun somewhere. Dito, dyan siya nag-intersect. Concave, dyan siya nag-intersect. Okay? Sa convex, dito siya nag-intersect. Okay? Okay, ngayon, maraming, maraming combinations yan. Okay, maraming pwedeng gawin dyan. Mapasin nyo dito, yung object ay nasa labas ng center. Yung, I mean, yung object distance is much greater than the uh, Uh, our radius. Okay? The object distance is much greater than the radius. Pwede yung ilagay yung object between the uh, center and the focal point dito. Pwede yung ilagay yung object dito. So, iba-iba yung 
resulta na lalabas. Okay? Meron din dito, yung dito sa part na ito. Okay? Itong object distance na ito is great. Comparable, di ba? Comparable dun sa center. Pwede nyo ilayo yan para yung object distance ay mas malaki kasi dun sa center. Pwede nyo ilapit para between the focal length at saka the, the radius yung object distance. Pwede nyo ilagay yung malapit na malapit. Okay? Uh, less than the uh, focal length. Okay? So marami, marami yung conditions. Okay? Doon yung mag-arise yung problems ninyo at saka yung and then it's a sort of problem at saka yung Okay, so yun yung itatakan natin. So, uh, ano yung mga common problems dito? Siyempre, pag drawing, kailangan exact. Kasi, pag hindi yan exact, makikita nyo na yung apat na linya na yan, hindi yan mag-intercept somewhere. Okay, at maghuhula kayo ngayon. Okay? Uh, pag pagpangit yung ano, pagpangit yung pagdadawin. Saan ba, saan ba nagiging pangit yung drawing? First, pag i-drawing nyo ito, pag i-drawing nyo yung tawag dito, curve, dapat i-drawing nyo yung tamang radius. I-drawing nyo dapat i-drawing yung tamang curve corresponding to the correct radius. Kasi, sinabi nyo na ang radius ay 3 meters, halimbawa, tapos nag-drawing na kayo ng curve na gano'n, Mali talaga na yung magiging sagot ninyo. Okay, yun yung mga analis. O common and common and mistakes. Hindi talaga mag-intersect yun dun sa sa light rate. Ano pang ibang mistakes? Believe it or not, yung kapal ng lapis o ng ball pen na ginagamit mo, makapos siya ng maliit na maliit na error. Sa simula, pagdating dyan, ang lahat na yun ng error. Hindi mag-intersect yung mga yung mga yun. Okay? So, yun yung mga possible na sources ng errors from drawing. Sa, sa mathematics, ang possible sources ng error ay yung pagsunod lang dun sa rules, sa, sa sign. Okay, so test natin ha. As an object dito, is it in the same side as the incoming ray? Yes. So, dito, ang S ay positive or negative? Positive. Okay. Dito, ang S prime ay positive or negative? Positive. Kasi yung image ay nasa same side as the output, outgoing ray. Outgoing. Okay? Or reflected na ray. Okay, dito naman. Ano ang sign ng S? Positive. Anong sign ng S prime? Negative. Bakit siya negative? Okay, bakit positive muna yung object? Ay, yung object distance? Kasi ito yung object, ito yung incoming ray, nasa same side siya na mirror. Okay? Tapos, ito naman yung image, andito yung outgoing na ray, tapos magkami ng opposite side sila, so ano ang sign? Ang sign is negative. What about yung radius? Yung ray na yung curvature para dun sa dalawa. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, para yung 
vacuum uh, cycles for both uh, both quantities. Okay, at pag to solve pero makita kayo na radius ay negative. Okay, yung magkakadol kasi may ibig sabihin yung negative sign. Okay, it doesn't mean na negative yung radius. It means uh, something else. So yung light ray or yung outgoing ray ay in the opposite side as the uh, ano tawag dito? As the, uh, as the image. Okay, one more thing. Yung object dito uh, yung image dito is, in this, is on the same side as the uh, outgoing rays, right? Pag ganyan yung case, at tawag natin dito sa image ay real image. Okay? Doon naman sa kabila, yung image ay nasa kabilang side as the outgoing ray. Ang tawag natin doon ay virtual image. Okay, ngayon, kaya real kasi nga yung rays ay nagpapas through the image. Kaya virtual kasi it only seems that the rays are passing through or coming from the image. Pero hindi talaga. Okay? Magsunod? Okay, yun, yun yung definition natin dyan. So pag magbabasa kayo ng problems, makikita nyo na may mga terms na real at saka virtual okay, at or ipapa-identify sa inyo kung real or virtual. And then finally, for refraction at the spherical surface, okay, same rules apply, pero magkakaroon kayo ng bagong, uh, ano tawag dito? Uh, bagong uh, parameters, may added na parameters, which are yung indices of uh, refraction. Uh, indices of refraction. Okay? Okay? So, parehong-pareho lang yung Pareho-pareho lang yung, uh, yung, yung equation. Okay. Pero ano yan, hindi sila, ang tawag dito? Uh, hindi mo madederive ito equation na ito o yung isang equation from here. Okay? Huwag yung isipin yan. Magkaiba yung derivation ng equation na ito at saka yung, yung, yung original na equation. Actually, may tawag talaga dito. This is called a lens uh, maker equation. Okay. Lens maker kasi ito yung equation na ginagamit na but supposedly, ito yung ginagamit nila na, uh, na equation. Okay. Para sa mga lens, para sa salamin, dahil precise yung mga yun, it follows this, uh, this equation. Okay? Okay, madali na tandaan, di ba? Kasi exactly the same form, magdadagdag lang kayo ng index of refraction. Okay, may nakalimutan lang akong i, i ano dito, i-dagdag. Kapansin nyo, yung image height is this. Yan yung y prime. Okay? At dito, yung image height ay uh, object height ay ito. Okay? So you can get the lateral magnification based on sa height no, ng mga images. Okay? So in this case, yung lateral magnification is less than 1. Kasi mas maliit yung image height kumpara dun sa object height. Okay? And in this case naman, Okay, yung image height ay mas maliit kaysa object height. So, pareho din ay lateral magnification is less than, less than. Masarap? Yes, ito naman. Masin. So, matalim po ba yun? Sa? Matalim. Ah, oo. Okay. Perfect title. Siguro yung chapter. We discuss natin yung camera at saka yung uh, mata. So, we use para applications ng Okay, so may hindihan nyo na rin yung mga nagsasalamin. May hindihan nyo na rin yung anong tawag dito. Kung paano ginagawa yung salamin nyo. Okay, para ma-adjust yung inyong mindset. Depende kung near-sighted kayo or or far-sighted. Okay, questions? Questions? Ba't na kayong nagpapak? May 15 minutes pa tayo. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, so...
Okay, discuss natin yung example sa para pwede nyo balikan later. Okay, ito yung una example. Image formation by a concave mirror uh, one. Okay, a concave mirror forms an image on a wall 3.00 meters from the mirror. Okay, of the filament of a headlight, headlight lamp 10.0 centimeters in front of the mirror. Nakitigyan nyo? Hanggang saan nyo lang naitindihan? Concave mirror. <laughs> Forms an image on a wall 3.0 meters from the mirror. May wall. May mirror. Gano'ng kalayo yung wall at saka yung mirror sa isa't isa? 3 meters. Yung mirror ay concave. Tama? Okay. Ano yung image na nafoform niya? Image of the filament of a headlight lamp. Okay, nasa ng headlight lamp? 10 centimeters in front of the mirror. Kapsunod? Kapsunod? Okay. Letter A. Okay, so pag dinowing, ito yung wall, yan yung headlight lamp, andito yung, ah sorry, ito yung ilaw na galing dun sa headlight lamp, ito yung mirror. Okay, yung distance from the mirror to the wall is 3.0 meters at yung distance from the source of the light o dun sa object, tawagin natin siya object, hanggang dun sa mirror ay 10 centimeters. Okay? So, ang tinatanong ay, what are the radius of curvature and focal length of the mirror? Okay, what are the radius of curvature and focal length of the mirror? And letter B, what is the height of the image if the object is 5.00 millimeters? Okay, so what are the radius of curvature and focal length of the mirror? So, makukuha natin yung radius of curvature base dito dun sa equation na ito. 1 over S plus 1 over S prime is equal to 2 over, uh, 2 over R. Okay, ngayon ang tanong is ano yung sign ng S, S prime at saka R? Okay, so ang S ay ito, uh, itong length na ito. Yung incoming ray ay galing dito. So same side as the mirror yung object. Tama? Which means na ang S ay positive. Okay. Ngayon, yung image ay nandito dito. It's 3 meters away from the, or 2.90 meters away from the object. Tama? Or 3 meters from the mirror. Right? Okay, tapos uh, nasa same side ba siya as the uh, outgoing ray? Yes. So, ano ang sign? S prime. Positive is, uh, S prime is positive. Okay, S prime is positive. Okay, so, yun yung makikita nyo rito. 1 over 10 centimeters plus 1 over 300 centimeters. 1 over S plus 1 over S prime. Okay, ngayon. Pag kinumpute nyo yan, ang makukuha nyo yung R ay 19.4 centimeters. Okay, dalawa ang makukuha nyo yung information dito. First of all, alam, makukuha nyo yung radius of curvature. Secondly, malalaman nyo kung nasan yung outgoing ray in relation sa radius of curvature. Okay, dahil positive ito, yung outgoing ray is, in the, is on the same side as the uh, center. Tama? So, tam yun naman talaga dapat, ano? Kasi, con concave ito, di ba? Concave ito, yung center niya ay nandito at nandito rin yung outgoing na ray. So, ini-expect natin na dapat positive yung R. Okay? Yung R is 19.4 centimeters. Okay? So, this distance from center hanggang sa vertex is 19.4 uh, centimeters. Kasunod? Okay, ngayon. Ang tanong is, the second question is, what is the height of the image if the height of the object is 5.0 millimeters? Okay, the, the image is 5 millimeters. Ah, object is 5 millimeters. Yung object height is 5 millimeters. Yun yung Y. Tama? Yung Y prime, yun yung pinapahanap. Tama? Pero alam natin na ang Y, okay, alam natin na ang Y ay 
Uh, paano related ang y, y prime, s, tsaka s prime? y prime over y is equal to negative s prime over s. Ngayon ang s prime is, asa na yun? Okay. s prime is 300 centimeters at ang s ay 10 centimeters. Tapos yung y is 5 millimeters. Tama. Tama. So makukuha natin yung y prime. Ang makukuha natin y prime ay 150 millimeters. Pero may sign. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nung, nung sign na yan? Okay. Ibig sabihin, kung upright, yung object, yung image ay inverted. Okay, yun yung ibig sabihin nung sign dito. Okay? So pag positive yan, ibig sabihin kung upright yung object, yung image is also upright. Kasunod? Kasunod? Okay. Number number two. Uh, Doon lang tayo sa convex para maiba naman. Santa's image problem. Santa checks himself for suit using his reflection in a shiny silvered Christmas tree ornament 0 0.750 meters away. Ginagawa nyo rin naman to, di ba? Kahit di kayo si Santa. Di ba? Okay. Yan yung... Di ba? Uh, ano ba tawag nyo dito? Silver balls? Christmas Christmas balls? Parang yung kanta, di ba? Silver balls? Okay, sige. Mukhang gutom na kayo. Oo, oh, silver bells talaga yun. Pero yun nga yung joke. <laughs> Okay, sige. The diameter of the ornament is 7.2 centimeters. Okay, so ito ay 7.2 centimeters. Ano ang radius? Ano ang radius? Buti naman na nakabenta na ako. 3.60 centimeters. Okay. Standard reference work state that he is a right jolly old elf. So we estimate his height to be 1.6 meters. Ito joke yan. Alam niyo kung bakit siya naging joke? Kasi upright yung image. <laughs> physics, physics, joke yan eh. Pero kahit yung mga physics dito, hindi magets. Okay, so anyway. Where and how tall is the image of Santa formed by the ornament? Is it erect or inverted? Uh, erect pala yung tawag, hindi upright. Okay? Okay, so, next time, <laughs> sa susunod na Pasko, maalala niyo siguro ito. No? Okay, so ito yung ornament. Okay? At nandito si Santa. Okay? Uh, ano yung distance ni Santa from the ornament? Or from the vertex? It's 75 centimeters. Okay? Tapos yung radius ng ornament, 3.60 centimeters. Yung diameter is 7.2 uh, centimeters. Okay? So san, ano yung object natin ngayon? Ang object ay si Santa. At ang light ray ay galing sa kanya, obviously. Okay? Which means na ang object at ang light ray ay on the same side. Which means na ang S ay positive. Okay? What about yung S prime? So, ano mang ano masasabi natin tungkol sa S prime? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Bakit? Yung image na mako-form ay nandoon sa back side. Excuse, back side. Okay, pero yung light ray ay nandoon sa kabilang, nasa front side. Right? So, which means ang S prime ay negative. Tama? What about R? Outgoing ray nandito dito, yung radius ay nandito dito, yung center nandito dito. So, ang R ay Negative. Okay, so 1 over S plus 1 over S prime ay equal sa 2 over R. Okay, so yun yung gagamitin natin dito. So ang ginamit niya dito is 1 over F, which is which is okay lang din. Kasi 1 over F is just equal to 2 over R. Okay, so 1 over S prime is equal to 1 over F minus 1 over S. So 
S prime is, or what F is, may hita nyo rito negative. Diba? And it's 1.8 kasi kalahati lang siya nung radius. Okay? Tapos, S 75 centimeters, positive yan. So, ang S prime, as expected, is negative. So, negative 1.76 centimeters. Okay? It's as if, pag tumingin si Santa dun sa bola, it's as if nandun siya sa loob ng bola. A distance of 1.76 centimeters from the vertex. Okay? So, ang image na yun is birch water. Tama? Tama? Okay. What about yung height ni Santa according to the image? So, ito yung equation for the lateral magnification. Ang S prime na compute na negative, ah, sorry. At tama, ang S prime na compute na negative 1.76 centimeters. Uh, at ang S is 75 centimeters. Ito yung given. So, which means na ang ratio nila ay 0.0234. Positive na yun. Okay, kasi negative ito, tapos may negative sign ka dito, so positive na yung sign. Ang sunod? Okay, so, knowing yung height ni Santa, makukuha natin yung virtual na height ni Santa. So, kung ang height niya is 1.6 meters, ang height niya dun sa image ay 3.8 centimeters. And it's positive. Ibig sabihin, the image is upright or erect. Tama, yun, yun naman ang nakikita natin, di ba? Yun naman ang nakikita natin. Pag nakatingin kayo sa, sa mirror or sa, sa ganong klaseng ornaments, makikita nyo na yung image yun is upright. Ngayon, pag tumingin kayo ng side mirrors ng kotse, ang mga side mirrors ng kotse, may ano yan, convex yan. At merong nakalagay na mga words. Alam nyo ba yung mga words na nakalagay doon? Yes, they are closer than they appear. Nangitindihan nyo na ngayon kung bakit they are closer than they appear. Kasi kung titignan nyo rito, concave mirror yung, yung, ano tawag dito, yung ornament, and it would seem na mas malapit si Santa dun sa vertex kaysa yung actual niya na, na distance. The same way, pag convex na mirror yan, okay, it would appear closer okay, to you, your reflection would appear closer to you than they, are, than they actually are. Tingnan niya. Okay, so naintindihan niyo na yung ibig sabihin nung yung ano na yan. And actually, pwede nga kayo, pwede nyo nga makompute yung distance niya. Kung mabilis kayo magcompute. At kung hindi kayo nagda-drive. Okay, kasi pag magda-drive kayo, tapos nagko-compute kayo, delikado yun. Di ba? Although wala namang rules sa, ano, may rules about using your cell phones, pero using your calculators, wala. Di ba? Pwede yun sa pag Okay, so mag-discuss pa tayo ng more examples next meeting. Okay, tapos uh, meron pa tayong ano, third chapter pa lang ito, may dalawa pa.